In this short video, you want to take a look at reference angles. Well, the definition of a reference angle is for every non-quadrantal angle in standard position, there is an, a positive acute angle called its reference angle. What's this big word mean up here? It just means for every angle whose terminal side does not lie on the x or the y axis, we have a reference angle. The reference angle for an angle theta drawn in standard position is the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. Note it's the x-axis, not the y-axis. And in our book, the reference angle for theta is denoted theta prime. Other books use theta with a caret on the top or theta sub r. They all mean reference angles. So remember, a reference angle is a positive acute angle, so it must lie between 0 and 90 degrees. Now let's look at this applet here that will hopefully explain a little bit more about reference angles to you. Here is my angle. Its initial side is along the positive x-axis and I'm going to rotate in the positive direction. So I'm rotating counterclockwise. So here is my terminal side. My angle is 20 degrees and we're in quadrant 1. So let's make our angle a little bit bigger. So here I have an angle, again it's in quadrant 1, here's my angle, and the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis is 60 degrees too. So as long as I have an angle that's less than one rotation, I'm in quadrant 1, the angle is equal to its reference angle. So we go over here in quadrant 1, the reference angle is equal to the angle as long as it is less than a one complete revolution. Now let's go back here and make our angle bigger. So now I'm in quadrant two. Here is my angle. Initial side, terminal side, my angle is 130 degrees. This is the reference angle. The reference angle is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So where did this 50 degrees come from? Well, remember the angle, if I go all the way out to the negative x-axis, I've got 180 degrees. So to get this angle, the reference angle, I do 180 minus my actual angle. So in quadrant 2, the reference angle, this angle here, is 180 degrees all the way to here minus my actual angle. Now let's go over here and go into quadrant 3. So now you can see my angle is 240 degrees. It rotates all the way around to here. Here's my terminal side. So this is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So in this specific case, my reference angle is 60 degrees. Well, how do you get 60 degrees in this case from the actual angle? Well, if you notice, this from here to the negative x-axis is 180. So we subtract 180 from 240. We're going to get our 60 degrees. So here is the formula for finding the reference angle in quadrant 3 to find this angle, it's the whole angle minus 180. And lastly, let's go into quadrant 4. Here's my angle, here's 300 degrees. I'm in quadrant 4. Where's my reference angle? This is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. It is 60 degrees. And how do I get that from 300? Well, remember, a complete rotation is 360. So to find the reference angle in quadrant 4, we do 360 minus the actual angle theta. So I've given you the formulas for finding all of the reference angles. I don't think you really need to memorize them. I think once you draw the angle in standard position, I think it's fairly obvious from the picture how to find the actual reference angle.
The most important thing about finding your reference angles is to always draw the angle in standard position. The initial side is along the positive x-axis and then you can figure out what quadrant you lie in. So here is my reference angle in quadrant 4. Here it is in quadrant 3. Here it is in quadrant 2. And finally, back to quadrant one, there's my reference angles. Now, these examples just showed angles between the 0 and 360 degrees. It will work the same if you were in radians going from 0 to 2 pi. But say you get an angle that is 492 degrees. What you're going to have to do with angles that are bigger than 360 or less than 0 degrees is you use your knowledge of coterminal angles to find an angle that lies between 0 and 360. Then you draw your picture and then you can find your reference angle very easily from the picture drawn.